A heartbroken family says goodbye to a mother killed in a dreadful crash. 45 year old Elizabeth Braley died on the sand in Daytona Beach Shores last night. An out of control vehicle hit the woman after it plowed through the Dunlawton Beach access ramp. Watch two, Stephanie Culp is there live. And Stephanie, just a very difficult 24 hours for this poor family. You got that right, Brett. This family was visiting from North Carolina when the accident happened. There's a memorial set up on the beach here for Elizabeth Braley. Her friends, her family, even strangers that didn't even know her have come to pay their respects. I spoke to her husband tonight. He told me the only thing that is comforting this family is knowing that she's in a better place. The family of Elizabeth Braley came to the site where she died to say goodbye. Seven kids and four grandkids. She's a stay at home mom, a loving mom. Her husband laid flowers in the sand next to a white cross, too emotional to say much. It's like I telling them over there and my son, you know, you're here on earth but a vapor, so you better love the person that you love. And your family. Braley was killed on the beach near the Dunlawton access Tuesday night when troopers say a drunk driver blew through the gates, drove onto the sand, and ran her over as she walked with her teenage children. Two dozen 911 calls immediately flooded the lines. There's a car that just crashed through the barrier under the beach straight off the Port Orange Bridge. People are screaming. I think somebody's hurt. Okay. Somebody has been run over. Somebody has been run over. There's a lady trapped under a vehicle on the beach. Investigators say the driver of the car was Sean Doolin. He used a comforter to hide his face from cameras as he bonded out of the Volusia County Jail Wednesday. Troopers say Doolin slurred his words. His eyes were bloodshot and he smelled of alcohol after the crash. And FHP troopers say there is surveillance video of Doolin driving recklessly before he crashed through the gates and came driving down the beach ramp. But troopers are not releasing that video. Reporting live tonight from Daytona Beach Shores, Stephanie Kolb, West, 2 News on CW18.